This time on Loving Cars, we'll look at five cars you can buy as a used car in South Africa right now. That is next on Loving Cars. Good day, my name is Edwin, and this is Loving Cars. Thank you very much for watching this video, and thank you very much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button because it doesn't cost you a single thing, and it helps me into creating more content like this, and it will notify you each and every single time we we'll drop a new video. So, due to coronavirus and restrictions and everything that is making car production very hard and making car prices to rise, it's very much hard to buy a new car in South Africa today. If you want to buy a new car, you're going to part way with an arm and a leg. So in order to save money, a lot of people are flocking into the used car market. So today let's try and find out which cars you should buy as a used car or a second hand in South Africa today. Let's go at number one. And number one, the car that you can buy as a second hand or as a used car in South Africa today is what we call a Toyota Yaris. Although it doesn't look that good, its engine and transmission hold up pretty well. And beside, it's a Toyota and is made in Japan and the Japanese knows exactly what they're doing. Because Japan is built uh, differently. Japan builds cars differently than the Germans and is based on a different philosophy than what other cars manufacturers are actually doing for example Europeans and Americans so Japanese cars are mostly reliable more especially Toyotas I'm not saying that that car will not give you problems but at least it will not give you a nightmare of engine and transmission so if you are thinking of buying a second-hand car you can go for a Toyota Yaris and number four the car that you should buy as a second-hand in South Africa today is what we call the Honda Jazz, known as the Honda Fit in other markets of the world. Not only is Honda very good in making engines, but they're very good in making transmissions too, more especially if you buy the manual one. All these cars, make sure that you buy the standard transmission, which is the manual one, and avoid buying automatics because automatics are actually a pain in the ass when you have to fix them and most of the time when people trade them in these cars they usually trade them in because they have some problems whatsoever so you're gonna be inheriting those problems however Honda Jazz or Honda Feet are pretty much reliable and Honda dealerships are actually having a problem these days because Honda cars don't break so because they don't break they don't make a lot of money in selling car parts so if you want a car that will be reliable and will stick to you through the thing and thin, buy a Honda Jazz. Number three, Volkswagen Polo standard transmission. However, if you're going to buy a Volkswagen Polo, make sure that you buy a Volkswagen Polo Vivo, which is the natural aspirated engine with a 1.4 liter or 1.6 liter engine. Because the one with the turbo usually has a problem when it clocks 100,000 kilometers. Remember, Volkswagen has a problem with its water pump and its thermostat housing. More especially when you clock 105,000 kilometers and up above and you are due on your 120,000 kilometers, you definitely are going to part with with an arm and a leg when you're replacing that timing belt. However, their engines are pretty much bulletproof and pretty much reliable. So if you're buying um, no natural aspirated engine then you definitely go for the Polo Vivo and it will not cost you that much so that car is worth looking for or looking at when you're considering buying a second hand however if you want to buy a turbocharged engine the one liter TSI seems to be pretty much holding up quite well than the one two liter uh, turbocharged the one two liter turbocharged usually has uh, a problem with the water leak on the water pump housing itself although this is pretty much called on force cars i am a big fan a uh, fan however i wouldn't advise anyone to buy a Volkswagen car or a Volkswagen polo with a dsg transmission stay away from that dsg they give away at 80,000 kilometers and replacing them will cost you 35,000. so if you're going to buy a second hand one buy a polo that is a manual transmission and the one that is below 45,000 or 65,000 kilometers and make sure that the the service book and the car's history match up because you don't want to inherit a lot of problems from that car. Number two, if not number three, is the Suzuki Beleno or the Suzuki Swift. Those cars are pretty much reliable and Suzuki has been making small cars for quite some time. So Suzuki is a Japanese brand and remember, the Japanese knows what they're doing. So if you buy from Japan, you definitely know that you're gonna have a reliable car. 
Suzuki Swift or Suzuki Bellano is definitely a car that should be on your shopping list when you're buying a second-hand car. Number two is the Mazu. Mazu, Japanese brand, I will be saying this over and over again, except for Nissan, who actually joined uh, forces with Renault and that has compromised their quality. Japanese cars usually last more longer compared to European ones, except for Mitsubishi and uh, Nissan these days because, uh, you know, that produ production of cars are pretty much crap. However, if you go for a Mazda, especially the Mazda 2, that car is pretty much reliable and bulletproof. If you get it at less than 100,000 kilometers, you still can squeeze out 200,000 kilometers out of that car before you fork in another engine. Because remember, most gasoline engines are designed to run up to 250 or 280,000 kilometers before you need a replacement engine. So if you buy it at less than 100,000 kilometers and uh, less than five years, you still can have eight or 10 years out of that car's life that the car can give you before it start giving you problems. And remember, if you're financing it, make sure that you do a good research before buying that car. Let's go to number one. Number one, top most reliable car that you should buy as a second hand today in South Africa is the Toyota Corolla. That thing is indestructible. It's unkillable. You can drive it and abuse it, turbocharge it, put some aftermarket air intake and exhaust, it will still keep on running. I'm not saying they don't have problems, but if well taken care of, they will serve you for longer. So if you don't want to worry and have a nightmare of problems after buying a second hand car, go for a Toyota Corolla. Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what I had for you on this time on Love and Cars when it comes to five cars that you should buy as a second hand in South Africa today. And remember, when you're buying those cars, make sure that you do a lot of research and stay away from Car Hub because they will rip you off. Stay tuned for more videos. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And thank you very much for helping me reach 500 subscribers. Let's grow together. Stay tuned. More videos will come out soon.